Good afternoon. I'm Robert Hadlock. Leslie Rohde is off today. We begin with a KXAN crime alert. Police are stepping up their presence at a central East Austin neighborhood after more complaints about property crime. One of the offenses is leaving some residents there sweltering mad. KXAN's Doug Shoup has this story all new at 5. This area is made up of a lot of low-income apartment complexes, and a lot of people who live here say they've seen an increase in trespassings, drug dealings, and take a look at this, the thefts of air conditioning units, leaving a lot of people with no relief from this brutal heat. I thought maybe they were just getting some junk behind here that was maybe left. Like metal or something. James Patton says he thought the two guys behind an apartment building next to his about three weeks ago were doing legitimate work. In fact, he offered to turn his porch light on because it was dark outside. They were having trouble seeing what they were doing when they were trying to take that uh, AC apart. So I just thought they needed some lights so they could see what they were doing. But then he heard one of the men yell to the other to hurry up. Turns out, Patton says the men turned power off to the building, cut cable and AC lines, then stole AC condensing units. I feel really bad. Uh, I wish I would have known that they were stealing something. At multiple apartment buildings along Wentworth Drive, cement pads are bare, wires are cut, and expensive AC units are gone. That left many tenants who lived in the now abandoned apartments forced to sweat it out until they moved. I feel for them. I, it, I know, I know it's, it's got it's to be really hard to, to deal with that kind of heat. Those renters feared talking with us because they believe the AC thieves live in the neighborhood. But Patton didn't care and wants to send a message to crooks preying on his community. They were real wrong for what they did, and they need to get a real job instead of stealing other people's stuff and selling it. You know, it's, it's wrong, and uh, we want to feel safe in our neighborhoods. Now, we called Deming Real Estate, which is the broker for at least a couple of the buildings, but so far have not heard back from them. Meanwhile, Austin police have given a directive to officers to increase their presence on these streets, and they've also asked residents to remain vigilant by reporting any criminal activity. In Central East Austin, Doug Shoup, KXA and Austin News.